This afternoon, the Grand Junction Area Chamber of Commerce hosted several candidates running for District 51 school board election this fall. The event focused on how each candidate would help all D51 students and in part the local economy. Michael Lagerwell has more. School board elections are nonpartisan, as they should be, but they have a very large impact on our future workforce. Only three of the five invited candidates looking for your vote to win a seat on the District 51 school board this fall appeared at the Grand Junction Area Chamber of Commerce's candidate forum. Chamber CEO Candace Carnahan says local education has a huge impact on the future of our workforce. The connectivity between the quality of our school system and the career readiness of our students is undeniable. The three candidates who attended the forum were Jose Luis Chavez and Cindy Scalia running for District A and Cindy Enos Martinez running for District B. Each candidate will have one minute to answer the questions. Questions in the forum included how to address declining enrollment, how to hire and retain good teachers, and how to help more students prepare for the workforce. We need to have other programs um, that address the needs of the student so that we can help them through the, that, those high school years. Cindy Enos Martinez said we need more pathways to help more students graduate high school. All students don't function well in the normal classroom. In line with the forum's emphasis on ensuring all students have access to education and opportunities, candidate Jose Luis Chavez says District 51 needs to create an educational plan for hundreds of homeless students whose numbers are growing. Then we can do modifications of work we can do modifications of the education stuff that they have to do. We can put them. In, we can have them have make sure that they have food, they have clean clothing, and and they have a place to sleep at times. While Cindy Scalia refused an interview, she used her foreign time to mention the importance of parental involvement in schools. And I do really feel strongly about um, parental involvement and making sure that we have the best of the brightest in front of our students every day. All candidates agreed more needs to be done to retain teachers, whether through help with housing or increased salaries, and to address declining enrollment numbers. Now, regardless of who gets elected, it will be an uphill battle returning Mesa County schools to their former glory. Now, the Chamber of Commerce shared these two alarming graphics behind me. This one right here, reading and language arts, and you can see the other one, math, and you can see for the proficiency dropping below state levels, that red line being state levels, the blue line being Mesa County. In about 2014, 2015, we dropped below state averages in reading proficiency and math, where we currently sit at only 38% proficiency in reading and 26% proficiency in mathematics. First on the Western Slope, Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. Thanks, Michael.